Today, we are going to meet Long Beach artist, Jorge Moica. Hi, Jorge. Hi, Dirty Patty. Hey, what's going on? All kinds of stuff. I know. You've just been to Berlin, huh? I was there in October, yeah. It was pretty fun. I uh, worked with some artists that do a sculpture, and I'm going to go back at the end of the month. So, Jorge, uh, what inspires your art? I'm interested in uh, creating an abstract line drawing, and that line drawing is inspired by Mexican culture, and particularly with the Aztec manuscripts. And these manuscripts always picture a person on like on their side, kind of like uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs. <gasps> and so my line drawings try to do all of that with the use of one line drawing, with one line that starts and stops and doesn't overlap. So if you think about a circle, you start and you stop in the same place. And that circle is something that I kind of gained inspiration from and then I would maneuver that line so that it would create shapes in the positive and the negative areas and then I would transfer that to a computer and use a laser cutter or a water jet cutter to make that flat material stand and then that's how I would make freestanding paintings. Oh, wow. And some of the ones that I've made this last year with other artists are right behind us. Yeah, you collaborate with a lot of Long Beach artists, huh? Yeah, it's so much fun to learn from other people and put myself at risk of not knowing how to do things and to, you know, learn how another person tackles uh, painting and material. You were telling me earlier, as a child, you would uh, go around with your father because he's a photojournalist, right? Yeah, when my parents came to the United States, uh, my dad was a photojournalist and I traveled all over the the city, so I got to know all kinds of interesting levers and gears within society that inspired me to want to be a lawyer. I wanted to try to make change with with culture and try with to law. find, yeah, and finding a sense of inclusion. What happened? That as I went to school, I, I learned that art and culture was something that was maybe more transcendent in the experience of life than I gave it credit for. And as I got older, I was like, I'm gonna try to impact my neighborhood and my community by making art that engages them. That's right, because these can go anywhere, right? Yeah, so many times I set them up in parks or at the beach, or I put them up in my neighborhood so that people can enjoy them. Uh, I'm working with the city of Long Beach and the Museum of Latin American Art to put an installation at Gumbiner Park. And uh, it's gonna live longer than my life, so I'm real happy about it. Wow, oh my God, congratulations, Jorge. Thanks. Yeah. This has been Dirty Patty for Long Beach Post. Track and field, huh? Looks pretty dirty. I'm not gonna take that away from you. Yeah. It's almost as if I can see their insides, too. You know what? That's the use of the positive and negative space. Yeah, it's pretty crazy.